as some of you may be aware of, I'm not a professional coder, but I do have some experience doing that, and I am a professional in the field of phonetics. And it is my impression that speech recognition systems are using more information than they need to. Let me explain. The image you see on top is a narrowband spectrogram, which is a type used in speech recognition. Narrowband spectrograms have a very good frequency resolution, which allows you to see these lines called harmonics. Harmonics are very useful to figure out the intonation of an utterance, but you do not really need them and in fact may complicate things if you're trying to figure out individual segments. That is why phoneticians use wideband spectrograms like the one you see on the bottom image. Wideband spectrograms allow you to see formants, and formants give you information about segments. Now, you may argue that in the narrowband spectrogram you can still see the formants, though superimposed on the harmonics. And that is true, but narrowband spectrograms have at least twice as many frequency bands, in other words, twice as much information, as wideband spectrograms. And this will translate into twice as many computations, okay? Additionally, research has shown that, for intelligibility purposes, not every frequency is equally important. Specifically, the frequencies in the range of the second format are much more relevant, and in fact, you'll see later, may be enough to understand the message. When it comes to tone languages, such as Chinese or Mazateco, you will in fact need information about the intonation. But you don't really need such a wide range of frequencies either. First of all, there are other methods to get intonation without using the spectrogram, such as autocorrelation, for instance. And second of all, in average speech, no one will go higher than 600 Hz, so you could potentially use two spectrograms and still have less information than it's being used now. As for the time domain, you don't really need so much information to recognize the contours of the formants. They're fairly clear, so that can be significantly compressed too. I have actually created a simple neural network that recognizes the numbers from 1 to 10 using 1 by 10 by 306 tensors. I use 9 frequency bands plus a tenth one with the average volume, so as to keep some consonantal information. And I got an accuracy of 99. some other nines percent. So at least with individual words, it works. You can download the Jupyter Notebook and the data from the links below. It is copyrighted, so keep that in mind, but feel free to play around with it, okay? Thank you for watching and see you next time.